There is the I. There is the I am. One can look at the I as those life forms whose existence runs completely or majority off of instinct, like quote unquote animals, lions, tigers, bears, dogs, cats, etc. We say that they don't have an awareness of self, an awareness of their existence within this world, within this universe, that it is all instinct, that they are basically completely machine, running off the wiring of their brain. They are in the I stage. Completely existing within survival mode. The survival of the self or the I. Whereas humans who are said to be of higher intelligence... a sentient being with a knowledge of their self in the world around them, in the universe, exists within the I am stage. I am human. Whereas a dog has no I am a dog. I am human. Which although we have our instincts which drives us although we are driven by our brain also just like the lower life forms we are aware of our actions and why we do our actions we can plan we can plot we can scheme we can project into the future that which we want to occur The I am. Yet even there, if we look closely, there is a lacking of. Because we are still subject to that wiring of our brain. The chemical balance within our brain. So what is the on the I and the I am. Do we have more words or less? Is I am that? I am that I am? Or is it a removal of the I altogether? There is a thought of the observed in the observer of removing oneself from being confined to their existence so just as you look upon that dog you are aware of that dog and aware of what it is and how it operates and how it may act whereas that dog's awareness of you is only on a completely totally different level. It will like you because that is what is best for it to survive. It will dislike you just out of, out of fear, out of preservation itself. It only knows you in existence as another being, in existence as another creature, but does not know you as a human being. Cannot speak to you, communicate, cannot get things across you other than maybe need some food, want to get outside, but they feel full 
breadth of communication, a full awareness of who you are. He is in the I, you are in the I am. So as you look upon a dog and as you look upon another person, that person being I am, you see them, but you are not able to feel what they feel. You're not able to feel their emotions, what they're going through that day. You can relate on some level as being human as they are, knowing the emotions, the ups and downs that you go through. But you don't know what they're going through at that time, and when they go through something, they exhibit outwardly an emotion that appears they have, an anger, or hurt, or joy. You feel that you can relate to that emotion. You, f you feel that you know exactly what it is they're feeling by way of you, you exhibiting similar actions when you have gone through certain emotions. But there is no true connection there. So the question is, the lack, that lack of connection, does it really show a lack of completeness of ourselves, of a ability of a higher state of being where you are able to connect with the other person to know exactly what it is they feel, not by way of relaying, relating to what you go through, but exactly what they feel, a oneness. One can question if they're able to do that with other animals, a oneness. And then also one is able to, to question if you can remove yourself from yourself. For are you actually yourself? Meaning your human existence, is that what you are? As pure essence of a being. You are living your experience as a human being, your experience life you are experienced life or life is experienced life by way of a human being. Are you the person? Are you your mind? Are you your body? Are you your brain? Are you a totality of them all or are you actually something that is beyond them all but is only experiencing by way of that vehicle? I question the truth is there is a way to remove yourself from yourself. Knowing that those emotions you go through that seem to drive you, that seem to push you, that seems to get you on edge, that seems to bring joy, that, that you feel. We separate ourselves from that emotion, whereas truth is we may actually be that emotion. If you are were to get inside that emotion and understand that, you are that emotion, and that emotions themselves feel nothing. Thus, if you are in a state of anger, and you stop and you analyze that anger and say, well, there is the being, there is the I am, and there is that emotion of anger. It is that emotion of anger which is currently driving the I am, and which is in more control, the I am or the anger. And if you are both, if you can see that you are also that anger, well then, that anger feels no anger. Sorrow feels no sorrow. Pain feels no pain. It only puts itself upon that which can interpret such. And being such, there will be no anger, there will be no pain, there will be no joy because they themselves do not feel themselves. And then one question to remove and, and look upon yourself as if you are beyond yourself, as if you see yourself as the eye from the outside to be the observer. Thus, when you are going through those trials and tribulations, when you are going through those pains, those suffers, ups and downs, 
and you are in that point of despair and hurt and want to do well, if you remove and say, when you look, if you are able to put yourself in a position to look down upon yourself as an observer, you can come from a point of compassion and say, well, I can help that person, which is in the I am. Because I am an essence. I, in my pure form, am beyond that which is that human being in existence. And I can guide that. I can guide him, her, through that emotion, through the trials and tribulations. I can guide them around, down the righteous path of consistently seeking to be in a position of moving forward in a just and righteous way, in a good way. Whereas a, there a constant seeking of joy and happiness, but then of course moving beyond that joy and happiness. Being in a state of being which is beneficial to the existence of that being and all beings. There's the I, there's the I am. Is there more? Can you believe more? Can you see more? Can you contemplate more? Can you be more?